So welcome to the poly demonstration of density based traffic lighting control system. So in this project we are going to detect the traffic density for four sites with the help of uh, each side we place the two IR sensors. So the two IR sensors presentation purpose is like if the vehicle presents till the sensor it will noted as medium density if it is not present till this low medium and till this one it's called high density so based on this ir sensors inputs so microcontroller will control the timer for the green lighting so if the density is low means there, there is no input from these two ir sensors then the green light of this traffic uh, lights timer is going to be the three seconds so if it is medium then it's going to be the six seconds on time for this side if it is high then it's going to be the nine seconds for the on time so the same process for the remaining uh, three sides also so coming to the interfacing connections the IR sensors uh, uh, interface it to the PIC 16F 7, uh, 877A microcontroller and this traffic signal LEDs 12 LEDs also interface it to the same microcontroller the pin numbers are IR sensor at A0, A1, A2, A3, C0, C1, C2, C3 and these 12 LEDs are interface to C6, C7 and D4 to D7 and B0 to B5. So these are the pin connections from the microcontroller. So the whole system driven by this PIC 16F A77A microcontroller and this one is the motherboard for that. So we are providing 5 volts input to this motherboard from this adapter. And this one is a restart switch to restart the microcontroller. And this steel plated one is a crystal oscillator which will provide the 20 mega clock pulse to the microcontroller. The purpose of the crystal oscillator is so we set the some instructions to the microcontroller. So those instructions are read the input from the sensors each sensor input and control the output. So these are the instructions will be executed by our microcontroller based on the clock pulse. So per clock pulse one clock pulse will execute one instruction like that we are providing 20 mega clock pulses per second so that controller will execute 20 mega instructions per second so let us see the demonstration so initially if there is no input one so while demonstrating this project we should place the system under the like uh, without any uh, external lighting so the particular light on this IR sensor should be in off state always So now there is no input. So whenever we place an object in front of any AR sensor, there is another light indication as it shows the, the particular sensor detect the obstacle sensor. So be, here the system is like before giving the green signal to the particular side, then it will check for the IR sensor input. If there is no input by that time, then it will provide the 3 seconds or 9 seconds or 6 seconds based on the IR sensor's input. So after providing the green if you place any object then it will not be executed as a considerable uh, like a density. So before coming to this side if I place at this section. So now before coming that now previously is 3 seconds now it is high density and then it is considered as a 9 seconds duration. So like the same thing here I am placing that. Before coming that if you place the object in front of the IR sensor then the timer is going to be the 6 seconds now because it is a low density. Right 6 seconds only. So if you place the both at this end also, so right actually before sh switching the green LED, we should place that, right. Now the time is going to be the 12 seconds. So after that vehicle moves also, then it is as the program executed, it will it provided the 12 seconds for the green LED indication. Till that time it will stay there only. Right, done. So, sorry, 9 seconds. 3, 6, 9 seconds.